Welcome to new SafeShares podcast and it's here the brand new version of SafeShares 3.4.0.22 the early access version of the 3.4 update for Selfish OS and it comes with several changes that I want to show you in this video. So let's get started with the first one. We go to our notification panel and we have our weather widget here on the top. And if I click on this, you can see I have now a new option that allows me to see the weather changes in different time periods at the same day. So as you can see here, you can see the various different changes here 16 19 so uh, 4 p.m 7 p.m uh, 10 p.m uh, one o'clock in the night and so on how it looks like with uh, the various different temperatures and uh, don't worry here why is the temperature rising at one o'clock in the night this has something to do with different time zones i'm here in uh, new zealand right now and i'm tracking the weather of cologne in germany which is like 12 hours i think or 11 hours difference uh, right now the new thing is here that if I want to go back to the daily overview for the next few days, the only thing I have to do is just press on this button on the top and it starts loading the uh, daily or for the next week the weather reports. And if I click again, it will go back to my um, day. And if I click on a specific day, you can see it will not go to the day itself but it will just switch between uh, week and today's weather so this is the new weather report then what you also will notice if I start Android applications they will start uh, a bit quicker now Android stores like Android for example they will start a bit quicker now when it comes to loading speed and loading times and all the other options in here will start a bit quicker like downloading repositories and internet will be a bit faster as well so alien dalvik applications have been improved the support for them is way better than it was before the next thing that we have is a better email client so let me go to my emails and one thing that you will notice is if i go into my uh, in an email it opens a lot quicker and it has a new overview that you can see here and this overview allows me to uh, allows me to show you various different options just like for example there's a bar at the bottom with reply delete and forwarding an email so a toolbar now and the show images button is now better integrated on the top I can click on this and in this case I get some information about a new Sony device here and the email client finally also has the option if I go into here the text for example I want to mark this text I can press and hold and mark this text and copy the text to my clipboard as you can see here I have also another option in the toolbar which allows me to share this text select all or clear so if I clear the um, marking is gone from the overview so this is also pretty nice another thing that you can see I swipe this away you can see I have lots and lots of updates here uh, we get now the uh, the sender of the email and also uh, underneath there we have an indicator for what the email is about before we always had to go to the right here and to see the title of the email uh, but the title of the email is now here you can see it's not fitting 100 percent but it's still an improvement to uh, the version that we had before so now let's go back that's the email client a very nice update now it is using under the under the hood it's using a new browser engine and a new browser web view that is available for service OS. so if I go to my browser you will notice that I have a new web engine based upon gecko 52 which is equivalent to Firefox 52 and here you can see uh, some information what's my browser I'm using server browser one okay but the most important part is uh, here 
your full user agent string is a Mozilla 5 Safish 3 and there you can see that this is running a uh, gecko 52 firefox 52 so a nice browser update i can show you a few websites that i want to uh, surf on to just like for example yola.com website and you will see you will notice that it's a bit quicker in loading the website but also the uh, browsing experience in general has been improved massively over the last version which was 45.9 and this is 52.9 and yeah it's a lot smoother now the support for modern websites is a lot better then we have better multimedia support i can open up what can i open up for this you can s get a sneak peek of the new version of um ls video player my video player and if I go in here in, for example, the history, I want to play back something that I have here, just like, for example, this video here. You will see that video playback will start more smoothly. And even if I go a bit forwards, you can see it's running smoothly, even at 720p video is running smoothly now played from youtube without issues without stuttering at the start which is a nice improvement as well and we have also better media player in the gallery you saw me double tapping to go 10 seconds forward and the gallery if you go into gallery and if i go into videos for example and i go into random video here what i have now here is a new option if i tap on this i have the option to skip forward 10 seconds in a video and skip backwards 10 seconds in a video as well as deleting and sharing the video so this is a new option in here which allows me to switch uh, yeah 10 seconds forwards and backwards in the media player then automatic updates for next cloud automatic backups for next cloud are possible we can go into settings we can go back here we can click on backup and here we have now the option to automatically back up to our next cloud in this case i think only next cloud is supported we can add new accounts here as well and um, yeah i can just automatically back up my system my contacts my settings to next cloud if i want to so this is also a pretty handy feature if you want to keep your system uh, your device mm, backed up then we have also the option talking about nextcloud we have the option to set a different folder for uh, the nextcloud installation on a server which helps all of those who have nextcloud installed in a subfolder on uh, their service and we have also the option to choose the path of the image folder that is synchronized with our safe device which is also pretty handy then there's something I can only show you this in a picture of the new UI for receiving calls. It has been overhauled. You can see there is now in the middle a little bubble that I can drag to the left or right to answer the call. Otherwise, I have buttons to press if I want to cancel or uh, not answer the call at all. Then we have OpenGL ES3 support that has been added to Selfish OS, which makes the system a lot smoother to run. You uh, pretty much every time I uh, talk about a Selfish OS update, there is also this uh, smoother running Selfish OS UI, and uh, yeah, this is uh, available here as well. So you can see that when scrolling, when switching uh, apps, that it runs a lot smoother now. Um, with the new OpenGL version uh, ES3 support that has been added to Selfish OS and various different devices, especially the Sony uh, Xperia devices that uh, needed this to run more smoothly. Then there is another big update in settings. When we go into settings again, you can see there's a new tab here called users, which allows us to select or add new users to our system. So 
multi-user support is now finally added in Selfish OS and for now it has only one administrator user which is the default user in this case and you can add some additional users. I think there is some kind of limit to five or six I think uh, or even four but there is the possibility to create new users if you want to. So I created a new user LL Electronics in this case and I can go in here click on this I can say switch to this user turn off calls and SMS rename the user or delete the user or I can add a new user if you add a new user it will allow you to choose the name and on first switching to this user you will be prompted with the normal setup that you can also get when you install Savage as normally on your device for the first time you will see all the same installation process like getting a pin encrypt your home folder, setting up your language, setting up your accounts and so on. So what I want to do now is switch to this user but I'm not using this UI to switch to. I'm using the new UI that you can find on the swipe top menu where we can see here my current logo, my current device owner uh, and when I click on this I have the option to switch to a different account. In this case I want to switch to the L Electronics account. It says switching to L Electronics and in a few seconds it will start up again with my new user and I show you some other changes that it did and what the difference is. First of all you can see a different lock screen in here. I can use my fingerprint to identify myself so just like um, fingerprint is not working right now for some reason. Let me try this again. Maybe this is still a bug but uh, it worked before. Uh, you have to believe me. So you have the option to set for this different user a different fingerprint authentic authentication as well which allows you to easily then log in again. So you have really the possibility to give this phone to a co-worker or something like this with a limited account that he can use for a day or two and this is I think the main purpose of this device but also if you want to experiment with some applications for example or you want just want to have a different uh, language and user interface and application uh, data you can have this here. Language for example you can see that this is now German language because at the beginning I chose German as my main language here. Then you can have all the applications that the system has installed already but you don't have the option to install application. So you can see that the Yola store is missing from these applications. Uh, another thing that you can see is also that you will notice if you upgraded your device and created a new user the icons here are randomly sorted. So the setup for the other user of course is missing now here on this device or in this user account so you have to resort everything and get started with this but this is what what works then there are of course some limitations also in settings because this user is not the administrator so you have some things missing as you can see here for example under system there are some things missing and there's no system update option for example and I think you are missing also the option for the developer mode. I don't see it here. Uh, so this is also missing. So there are some limitations. You have a limited user account by default here. Uh, it's a great feature if you want to give this phone fully equipped to a coworker, like I said, or even a family member that does not want to deal with installing applications, uh, removing applications, updating even the system, and then does not want to, yeah, damage the system in any way. So this is a quick overview of some of the features of this new version of Safish OS and you can see that a lot uh, has been added to this new version and uh, this is really really great and uh, what do you think? Write down in the comments what do you think about the new Safish OS version here 34022 and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video overview of this yeah, 
early access version still there will be a lot of other things coming out definitely and there's a lot of things that have changed under the hood like uh, even um, arm 64 bit support for developers very interesting fixes also for the sdk and the api changes uh, the new web browser engine that can be used definitely also for um, external developers maybe not directly in harbor in the yola store but for third party um, applications on open repos and so on so very interesting new release and in a few weeks this release will become uh, final hopefully when there's no bigger bug that needs to be fixed and then every SafeJS user will have this new version this is an early access version so you have to be registered at jolla for getting the uh, early access version that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye